Hey guys, Lewis here, aka Ladrin Gamer, and I'm back with another game development tycoon episode. And we're going to jump straight into it with our company Ladrooms. And yeah, I don't really know what to do in this episode. Last episode, we made the new engine, Game Engine 3, um, which we then built this game with, Speed of the Line, which apparently has racked over 5 million sales recently, so that's that is good. Still making me money. Um, and we still got quite a bit to do, we can do. We can make. Um, some sort of console. We can make as many consoles as we want, or we can make an MMO server. And I think we should make the MMO platform type game server thing because, yeah, why not? It's gonna be cool. So first, I'm gonna send Philip and Antonio on vacation because they're knackered. We're gonna get them guys to generate a game report for Speed Off the Line. Ronnie's gonna do that. Um. Jim, you can do whatever, Jim. Ma, you can do some training because we can still get you up. And how should I make her train? We should get her to do um, a simple technology course. So, technology. No, actually, speed. She's quite slow. She's only got 209 speed. So, we're going to do a project management course that costs 30 research points and 140k. So, there you go. She's doing that now. Um, while they do that, Christopher, I think you need to go on vacation, buddy. You are knackered. News! Our own game convention has taken place in four weeks. Oh, God. That is crazy. So, how are we gonna, what are we going to put for, up for that? Well, these guys need to get back from on holiday. Um, so maybe I should quickly make a game or start making the game. Uh, speed off market is now off the... Speed off the line is now off the market, I was, I was meant to say. Um... So, yeah, I think we should start generating a game. So, develop a sequel would be good. We can pick a game from a while ago, which will be fairly good. Hunt for a Missing Gem? Nah. Um, M Play? Nah. Foot Madness? Nah. Actually, football football's always quite a good one. But, let's go to an even older sports game. Um... Sports everywhere unite. Okay, let's make it number three then. So sports everywhere free out of this world ah. Uh, out of this W, there you go. That that that's a one hit right there. Right, so it's gonna be for everyone. Sports, casual simulation, yes. Um, for Mbox next, play system, and also for the PS. No PS, PC. Get it right, Lewis. Come on, come on, Lewis. Right, so that'll be that going. Uh, two D graphics version three, yes. The best graphics we can get. So these guys now gonna do some work. Oh, and the game report came in. Our post analysis of speed of line is complete. We got the final results. Racing and simulation casual is a great combination. Sound seems very important and M box and simulation is okay. And additional insight, we should try focus No! I do that! I focus our entire team on this. So no, shut up. <laughs> um speed of the line was now at the place game convention but also it's got a little headline of sports everywhere out of this W there as well so that should get me some hype from this um, and our convention almost had two mil people that's quite a lot of people I, I'd say anyway so now we're gonna get some of the guys at the start to do some little work we want Jim to do the gameplay story and quest not as much so Ronnie you can do story and quests it's not as important. Uh, it's going to have branching story. No, it doesn't need a branching story. Advanced cutscenes. Um, interactive story, maybe. Interactive story, well, yeah, I guess. No, no, not interactive story. Story is not that important at all. So, we're going to make that the lowest feature. Um, online play, of course. Video playback. Save game. Yes. Um, save the cloud now, we don't need that. Pack the progression, sure. Skill trees, 
No, we don't need skill trees. Um, game tutorials, of course. So gameplay is going to be maxed out. Engine, maxed out. Let's put save to cloud on there maybe as well. No, nope, we can't have save to cloud. See, it's all just about temperamental, like testing things with this game. And, and then we're going to get our other tech person. Christopher, no, we're going to get Ma to do the engine. So yeah, hopefully that would be okay. Oh, market has normalised, no particular strong trends, that's fine. Alright, so we're going to get quite a bit of hype straight off the bat because of um the My Own Little Convention will advertise this game. Luckily, I actually named the game this time. I seem to have a problem with not naming the games. You, it's just me, really. And these guys are stuck. Oh, Ma, you're stuck. Oh, and you need a vacation. Um, that's not good. Don't know why she got all of a sudden so tired then. That was a bit odd. She just like got completely knackered out. That was weird. That was so weird. She was fine a minute ago, I swear. Right. Artificial intelligence is not important. But um let's get Christopher to do some work on that. We can get Ronnie. Ronnie, you can do some more work. You can do dialogues. Oh actually Philip, you can stay with dialogues. And then Antonio, yeah, you can do level design. So, what can we add to this? Celebrity voice acting, of course. Advanced body language. Yes, of course. We need body language in this. When people are like, having a go at each other. Mini games. Yeah. Dynamic environments. Level editor, no. Um, so, that means we can put dialogues up a large amount. Decrease level design slightly. And also artificial intelligence. So artificial intelligence ain't that needed. Because it's only needed for better AI. Um, so maybe I should take something off. We should take off better dialogues. Making everything go being able to go down a little bit. And there you go. Alright, so Philip, do your job and make this game a success with advanced crap, you know. Do your job. Yeah, do it. That's it. Good gut job. Keep going, guys. Yeah, you can do this. I don't even know what I'm even saying now. I'm trying to hype them up so this game gets hyped up. And also, marketing. Yes, I just remembered. We want to have a large campaign because we want to get even more hype. We want people to buy this game and be like, yeah, this is the best sports game, best sequel, best everything with this new game engine and crap. Yeah, that's what we want people to be like. So we're getting a lot of design points from the, our new game engine. So that's good. Right. So Jim, you can do yeah, Jim you can do graphics, you're fine with graphics. Um Christopher, you can do sound. And then let's get Ma to do Hmm. No, we'll we'll get who should we get to do that? Ronnie? Yeah, stick with Ronnie then. Ronnie's quite helpful at the moment. Um, so, open world, no, we don't need an open world. Day and night cycle, nope. Um, we're just going to get world design a little bit more up, sound a little bit more up. Um, and that's, I think, going to be it. So, hit OK. Now these guys will do their final preparations and make the game. So hopefully, this game will be good hoping it's got over 500 design points it's got to be something we can also get some people to do some more research after this so we can make our new game engine of course for our MMO so we need an, a proper MMO dedicated engine so we're gonna get let these guys iron out their bugs and we'll start on that engine because the MMO engine is gonna be important to make MMO games because it's the only way you can make MMO games in this game so yeah that's what we're gonna do in a second so hopefully, iron out the final bug. Yep. There you go. A lot of design and technology points. Is there any new records? In both new records, yes. So, any level ups? Um, 2D graphics version 3 leveled up. So we can release the game now. Sports everywhere free out of this W. So, hopefully, 10s. 
Eight played it for days. Star de Star Games. I can't speak at all. Seven beautiful, informed gamer, and also an eight from Game Hill. Very enjoyable, and a nine almost perfect. All games. How could it be imperfect? Though how I want it to be perfect. That's what I want. So I'll tell you what I want. What I really, really want. But yeah, we racked over one mil sales in the first week. That is good. Now, let's get these guys researching. I'm going to get them to research these last couple topics, because, I don't know, maybe I'll get an achievement for it. That'd be pretty badass. So there's only two remaining, so that's only 20 points. Um, and now let's get these guys to research. Um, dynamic world. Ooh, that sounds quite interesting. Cooperative play. Vos visory support. I don't even know what that is. Self-learning AI. That will be amazing. Let's have that. And then let's get Antonio to research advanced physics. Because, or cooperative play. No loading screens. Oh my god, yes. No loading screens. That'd be amazing. And then, what can, what can they, what else do they need to do? They, they need to keep training. Training would be very important. So boost for these guys, of course. Um, industrial news. Sports everywhere free. Has racked over 5 million sales. That's good. That's good. It's brilliant, in fact. Right. Let's get Ma to generate a game report for sports everywhere. Let's send this guy on vacation. Um, let's train. Let's train my guy here, Jim, to do. Ooh. What should he do? He could do a, quite a few things. World design. I think world design is probably going to be the best thing. But I need 200 research points for all of these. So maybe we should start focusing on getting specialists at some point in this. May, can't do it now. But when I get enough like, research points, then we can do that. And then as soon as she's done. Or in fact, we can now just create the engine. Because I can't wait anymore. We're going to call it... MMO um MMO one. There you go, MMO one. Right, so it's gonna have everything. It's gonna have everything we already have. MMO support of course. It's gonna have no loading screens, of course. Self learning AI, of course. Now let's create the engine. Yes. That is a lot of points. <laughs> I want a large booth, like usual. Large booth will always support us. Um, let's boost these guys. Because hopefully, that means they will help. And look at all them points just racking up. Post analysis um, of sports everywhere. Dialogue seems to be not important for this type of game. Story and quest seem to be not in type for this important for this type of game. Platform match. Casual places in five good. Um, yeah, oh, wow, new insights, Ronnie Jamal is new to the team, a few more games and the team will have higher potential, oh, okay, so now it's telling me something actually something bloody useful, thank you, it's not just a waste of time now, <laughs> right, so, the MMO engine is going up and now there's a convention, G3, it's not our own convention, so we might not get as many people, but still, we might get a lot. Oh, we got around about the same amount we got from the last one. So we're still voted number one, which is good. We can also set up on our own one over here. If we start project, own convention, that's going to be set up. Fairly quick, I think, as well. And these guys need to go on holiday in a bit. So maybe I should start sending these guys on vacation this guy on vacation and Christopher I think you can still do a bit more work till you're completely tired I love how Jim never gets tired it's perfect for him right this is a lot of points you can do it guys alright let's send Chris now there you go you're on vacation Chris just as we're about to finish and there you go New engine complete. 
bullseye. Now we have our MMO engine. And the market's normalized again, so that's that's fine. So now we can develop a new game. Which I think I will keep to next episode. So of course, I'm sorry to put you on like a cliffhanger there and all that, but I guess it's something to wait look forward to in the next episode, next Tuesday. So um, of course if you like this episode and can't wait to see the next one, hit the like button. Um really appreciate if you do. Um hit the favourite, hit the share. Tell your friends about my channel, help it grow, I, all the support is brilliant. Um, hit over 120 subs this week, so that was, that was brilliant, I'm ecstatic about that. I never thought I'd even get over 100 if I'm honest. And um, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. Um, if you do all that, it shows your support, and it really helps me out. Also, if you want to follow me on Twitch, Tumblr, and Twitter, links are in the description below. And yeah, thanks guys. Um, I really appreciate you watching my videos. It's it's really it's cool. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Have a great day, night, evening, whenever you watch this.